So without uh, speaking too much from the uh, Lord, I was just asked to uh, read scriptures and then uh, mm -hmm. and may God help us. So before we read, let's invite our Lord in prayer. Come <laughs> so let's read in our Bibles. Job chapter 14. In the book of Job chapter 14. Verse 1 to 5. From verse 1 to verse 5. And then we'll read again in the book of Romans 3, and then we'll read other scriptures in the book of Romans 3, and then we'll read other scriptures when the saints are seated. Job chapter 14, verse 1 to 5. Job 14, from verse 1 to verse 5. We can read it as well, Layona. We found it. Me a hoshe tapiche. Ofro ha lelo kani choma. Abe asufure. Ofeta lelo kamuti. Ma ati. Lele elio biyalo. Udula unte peleji. Na ibile unte kisha. Afa mtu mosekeri ukila ajwa hoyo chila. Leo tini. Tengu mataji arawa ya abe ilwe. Palo ya tu kwezi chaha we huwe ni umeji melwa ne me agaseke aisee. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter three verse twenty three. Now when we go to Romans chapter three verse twenty three. Romans chapter three verse twenty three. Who want more? I want now. Amen. Amen. Children of God, you may take your seats. Amen. I once again greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. We read the scripture of Job chapter 14. Uh, let's read verse 4 and 5 again. Afa moto musekeri ukila ajwa huyo chila. Leote, sengu mataji arawe ame ilu. Palo ya tukwedi chahawe o chahawe e uwe ni. Umeji melua. Me agasi ke asela. Amen. Amen. Reale kwa wanwa mdimu. So we are thankful children of God. Reale kwa yeti loka muka si mdimu are directing so now. Let's be thankful for everything that God has done for us. Ibile beke ya wa busy too much eh. It was quite a busy week this past month. Mwara mafele lungu reale kwa mdimu akonisi wanwa mdimu wa mwaba tiri ya tole li tele lila lao ya bohom. But in all things we thank God for assisting those who went to bohom. And then wapa mwaba tiri li eto lao ya u laping la mboveni. And others who took the journey to go to the Family. And I believe that God's grace was seen because the word says all things work together for good to those that uh, trust God. 
so eh bana ba modimo re no tswela pele ka ka o shira le tswela modimo so it's not god we're going to continue in sharing the word of god because he re re ga ko pana mo because if we can come together here and then modimo a se bolele le rena and god doesn't say anything to us ora re kopane re ke a le fela then it means our gathering is in vain Now the word of God eh, makes us aware children. Eh, so, uh, 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 so, we were born in sin and there's no way that you can bring a, a righteous person or a clean person that's why the jela mudimo ke ya roman chapter ya john chapter 3 that's why the word of god in john chapter 3 it retwanetse retwanetse retwalisi bsa it says we must be born again so ke no khopela re ke share le ba re ba mudimo ka completely renewed so i want to share with the children of god a message on complete renewal because can native ba ba mo dimo re tshwantse re renewe because children of god we need to be renewed and uh, it's in half and not halfway completely a go fenela gore re tle re khona o tsena moso mwana o dimo so that we can enter into the kingdom of heaven because modimo a pholusa motho because when god saves someone a mo pholusa half he doesn't uh, give a half salvation modimo o ira completely job god does a complete job so ka le mwana le bolela la ba roma chapter 3 verse 23 so as the scripture of romans chapter 3 verse 23 says jere ka mo ka rena ba ba modimo re mo se bing says we have all sinned re tshoka le tao la modimo and we have come short of the glory of god so re tshwantse re tle mo le mong la re mafele lo re tshwantse re fetu we so we need to come to a point where we are transformed re tle mo le mong la ba lisi to too much and we come out from uh, our habits of tradition too much and then they live more among love but rest and then we come to the condition of being christians uh, because who more robang wana modimo o ka bolela gore i'm a christian because it's easy to say that you're a christian child of god mara william brenham o bolela mantsi but uh, william brenham says these words are o na le papa no motho wa ruki a iputse gore yena ke mo christ says there's a difference between one who thinks that they are a christian le yo a e le mo christ wa makhonto wa o tlatsa ka moyo mo khe and one who is a true genuine christian filled with the holy ghost so na ko mo ka bolela ke re mo christ so other days i might say i'm a christian ka o tla ke re ke by coming to church day in day out a uh, continuously mara as long as she can receive him moyo mo khe but so long as i've not yet received the holy spirit i'm still in a process to be christian eh ke sale mo le to na go ba mo christ a ke a ke mo christ wa makhonto i'm not yet a genuine christian so re tshwantse re le moe ba ba modimo re modimo o beiletse so we need to realize children of god that god is laying away yeah, tshwantse re fit we be are of how we should transform i can know to what it it come my poelo i don't just wake up uh, with my own feelings re na ke change chi and think i am changed eh ke mo christ i'm now a christian no i be ke be are no that's not the way it works e bile ye re tumelo o ntle le tumela o khone o khatsha modimo the bible says it is impossible to please god without faith and the bible ya bolela yiri yona tumela itsa ka o kwa le tsela modimo and again the same bible says faith comes by hearing the word of god so taba ya o tsala se tswa mwana modimo so the matter of being born again child o kwa le tsela modimo it's to hear the word of god and o le kwa le tsela modimo le na le modiro o le o dira and when you hear the word of god there's something that it does in you and the mafelo lo le khona o re lo fetule and through that work it can transform and then wa ba so pa se se tsa and then you become a new creature Remember I said I'm going to read scripture. Now let us read scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 2, Ex chapter 2, verse 36, verse 36. And we we'll continue on with that. Yeah, in the from verse 36. Gospel, it means you need to stand up and do something 
and if you are the seed of Abraham and if you indeed you are the seed of Abraham and the gospel you shall be and the gospel pricks your heart o tshwantse go dire sent that war na motumelo ga se dirile you must do what our father in the faith did then tshina go dimo le ile o Abraham the word of god went to Abraham go dimo a rwena Abraham and god said to him ke nya ka go ben tate wa le wa 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 was charm i want you to be the father of nations mara go na le condition but a a a condition e o tshwantse go dire that you must do e tswa mo mulukong wa heno come out from your kingdom because i ba na ba modimo So children of God mudime aribitsa when God calls us o nyaka re separate he wants us to separate so o re yena a tla khona o bereka ka re so that he can use e bona mudimo na ko nwe if you sometimes see that apo le la ka re shumisa is unable to use but re sa hana o khawa is because we are still refusing to separate e mai ke bolele manje a now allow me to say this o ya ka bebe according to the bible sa mathomo thomo se o tshwantse o khawa ne le sona the very first thing that you need to separate away kinna it's yourself me me e nanna ma separate with me e o tshone tso khao ga ne le boe gore modimo a tla khona o bereka ka wena so that god can use you. because modimo before a tla bereka ka wena because before god can use you out that ka moyo mukhe he needs to fill you with the holy spirit and now william brand wa go tsarna moyo mukhe tswa ke and william brand shows what the holy spirit is are moyo mukhe tswa ke moyo wa modimo o le mowe he says the holy spirit is the holy is the spirit of god so be the early mo isar modimo ara na se modimo a tlaka tlaka so the bible shows us that a god is not a god of confusion mo na le confusion modimo a ho Wherever there is confusion it means God is not there. So more bona Pedro aba rerela. So here we see Peter preaching for them. Aba tsibisa ka Jesu Christ. Letting them know of Jesus Christ. Ori ke na morena. That he is Lord. And also na morena o mongwe ntle Jesu Christ. And there is no other Lord except Jesus. Here we see what they were saying at the field. The Bible says when they heard this they were breaking their hearts. Ke mere kwa gospel. Now that's the work of the gospel. O saba pilo. It breaks the heart. And o saba pilo. And when it breaks the heart. O ra o tshwantse o sukulu. It means then you need to read continue with the scripture series bala. Is it when you continue with the scripture? Sa o lela se re ba go tsa Pedro ba It says they asked Peter and said to him what shall we do are sokola go molo mo akolo betse mo dilela Peter said repent every one of you and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ Dikar ba lona sona ra la kontinu bro Ke ba ibatse o tsa ba sala ntwe Ba go tshisha ba Pedro le ba apostol ba ba na ga le sho go go dira Pedro a fetola a sokolo ga ka moka le kolo betse e nne nna ga Jesu Christ Ebe ona go lebanelwa dibe ke mo go le tlo fiwa neo o ya moyo moghe So taba ya rena ya complete renewal van ba mudimo e tshoma mo So this is where our matter for complete renewal starts bi e re sukulwang it says repent le kolobe ke mo dinela la Jesu Christ and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ ke mo re tlo create valelo ya dibe and that's where we will receive the forgiveness and of sins and neo ya moyo moghe and receive the gift of the holy spirit So William Brenham wa botse sa question ara what is a holy ghost Now William Brenham asked this question or moyo mo khetwa ke and ka ra go re a holy ghost is a promise and then it um the the answer is moyo mo khetwa ke tsepiso e tswa mo modi that comes from God mara mo bo modi ba o fa moyo mo khetwa but before God can give you the holy spirit o tshwantse o tle ka lenane o le yena modimo a libeile you need to come through the program that God has laid out o tshwantse o kwe le ntle le rero you need to hear the word being spoken and hello o hlaba pelo and when it pricks your heart o sukulu you need to repent And then you receive that and be born again and then go out of your name now your moyo mukhe and that's when you will receive the gift of the and holy spirit and now your moyo mukhe and when you receive the gift of the holy spirit o fet o le mo 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 ne chengela ya khale and you are changed from that old nature and then o ba mo ne cheng e and then you come into the new nature and then o se bjana se modimo a ka khona mo se shumisa then you become a vessel that god can so, use so william brenham o bolela manje ya so william brenham uses this word now there is a vast difference between just a christian and a Holy Ghost filled Christian. Ore, bele ona le papa ang mahareng ha motho e leng gore ke mo Kriste fela le o leng gore o tla ditjo ka moyo moghetse. From the scripture uh, and now we are going to get this from the scripture. Bele re tlo krata ba e mo mangwalo. And place it just exactly in the scripture. Me ra bi a twi mo mangwalo. The first place there is a Christian professor to be a Christian. Sa pele ona le mo Kriste o e leng gore wa ipolela gore yena ke mo Kriste. But if this Christian has not yet been filled with the Holy Ghost. Fela re mo Kriste o a sing ke a tla tlo ka moyo moghetse. He is only in the process of being a Christian. Ono ba a le mo le tong la go ba mo Kriste. He is prophesied is prophesied to believe. Eh o wi ipolela gore wa dumene. He is working to eat. Mara o be rekela go ya go yona tabai. But God has not yet given him this spirit. Fela modimo a siya mo fe moya o. 
uh, of the Holy Ghost. It's not yet reached that goal with God. God has recognized it. So, so do you see how the way of God is before, before he fills you with the Holy Ghost there is a condition that he wants you to get through you need to hear the word you need to break and your heart o- o- and then you need to surrender and then completely surrender surrender yourself to God and then now when God comes to you and you hear his word he takes this vessel that you have and he cleanses it so that he can use it so that he can use it now we know that God is complete in three body, spirit and soul so even the way to come into justification justification and the baptism of the Holy Ghost so I like the way the servant of God says it the Malachi of our time William Graham William Brennan he speaks of this matter that when you come to the service you need to know what it is that you are coming for now in all these different ways when we come to the service our end goal should be to receive the Holy Spirit but for you to actually have the Holy Spirit you need to know who he is so my own a promise. So the Holy Ghost, children of God, He is a promise. And uh, this promise, and it's a bit so is the seal Amen. to show that the work that is a finished work. So William Branham continues so William Branham continues to say, open, so. when you see us gathered in this way, the Holy Ghost when you see it being unable to get to our heart it's not because God can't give us the Holy Ghost it's our attitude that causes God not to give us the Holy Ghost so when William Brenham gave this um, illustration that I had to take so when William Brenham gave this illustration that I had to take he says he used to work in a an industry where they used to um, ship cargo. So they used trucks. So they they use trucks. And then they uh, before it's And now these um, you know, loads you know, before they are they load the more truck. Uh, people need to come and load it onto the truck. And, 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 and after they've loaded those, loads, the inspector. There has to be an inspector to, come to, inspect. to inspect the loads. The uh, have they put the goods and put on? And if they've packed the goods in the right way, way then the inspector needs to seal it. So, so if it's not packed in the right I'll way, way there's no way that the inspector can seal it. So, so now children of God, don't waste a lot of your time uh, seeking the Holy Ghost. But you yourself, you're not preparing because yourself. Because there is something that God is looking for from us. When you see him not filling us with the Holy Spirit, the said we are just doing things like the word so, and, and we should not be that way we must be different so, so let's take the matter of Abraham the one who when God spoke to him and said leave and Abraham then Abraham did leave Amen. Uh, from his own home I, 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 to the strange land and then he went to uh, a strange land I the strange people uh, the pastor usually gives this example <laughs> that it's not by mistake that we're, we're seeing each other like this uh, I am of the Tsonga but I didn't know that one of these days I'll meet with Brother Mampu and we'll be speaking a different language I didn't know that one of these days I'll meet with Brother Mampu 
I didn't know that one day I'll, I'll meet with my precious brother Muswin. And they're coping a regular a different language. And we'll come together uh, speaking a different but language. But God had a purpose for our gathering. So that he can gather us into one body. And then forget about my tradition. Forget about my, my language. Forget about my culture. And then we can all so that God himself can later fill us with the Holy Spirit. So when you see God not filling us with the Holy Spirit, the servant of God shows us here of God. we are too loose. Or re, 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 loss, or loose. It means uh, many of us in the way that we speak, we are loose. Because remember the term like I believe can bless and it can also curse. Isn't it uh, there in verse 4 of Job chapter 14? It says, Let's read it again. Because only me. You see, a, a, a clean thing cannot come from an unclean thing. So, this is the matter with the church today. So, the servant of God says, when God doesn't seal us with, a, with, with, his, with his spirit, we are too loose about the things. When the inspector goes through inspector to inspect your life, to see if you are not just a little loose about a little things, little loose about the, the, the your prayer life, little loose about the temper, little loose about the time, and talk about others. He never sell the car. Some dirty habit. Some dirty habit. Some very things. Some vulgarity. These things God cannot see us. So we need to be born again, children. And then we can know these things. So that uh, we can separate from these things. So the Holy Ghost the promise is a promise that God has made to us. But for us to receive the Holy Ghost, we need to live a life that the day that the inspector comes, uh, to inspect us, he should find everything in the right way. That our everyday life should mesh with the word of God. And then God can give us a, a, an assurance. God can give us an assurance. And after God fills you with the Holy Ghost, it's not just for you to say, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Sin is a finished thing. The servant of God says, So you are completely renewed. Now you are completely renewed. So now God can use you. If God wants to walk in the streets of Sushanguve, he uses you. You know, there are certain people, children of God, that they'll never read the Bible. They'll never come to the service. But they need to see God in you. Because the word of God says, You are the light of the world. So for God to fill you with the Holy Spirit, when the word of God is preached, he is the inspector. Because he's the one showing you where the problems are. Because when you come here, we have come to the house of correction. So when the word of God is preached, when it pricks your heart, because of your works, remember you're not doing anyone a favor. You need to repent. And then you need to repent. And after repenting, you need to make sure that your life is not loose. So that God can come and fill you with the Holy Ghost. Because after God fills you with the Holy Ghost, the servant of God says, That is God. And then, in you. 
and eventually you can be about the father's business all the time now in the journey of worship they should be nothing to hinder you from being in the in the business of the father it might be you are working for your family Paul says whatever we do we need to do it in the name of Jesus Christ you might be at your work Place. Does it matter? Over a laptop. I'm cutting it. Over a using a laptop. Over a camera. Oh, yeah. You are using your hands and you are digging. But do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because God is in you. So that eventually people can see God. Now, children of God, the word of God says. Let's go to Romans chapter 12. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 12. Paul where this man Paul speaks mm-hmm. verse 1 and 2 mm-hmm. when you want to be a genuine Christian, when you leave, you should not live to please other people. You yourself, you should not live to please yourself. You need to live to please God. Paul says, "Paul says, Paul 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 by seeing the sure message of God, I plead with you that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice before God. And so when Paul continues, says, we should not be like those of these days. Ours is to be transformed in our minds and then be a new creature. So, 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 my, my mind, so now how do you renew or change your yeah, mind? Yeah, yeah, this same man Paul uses this word to say, well, let the thoughts or the mind that was in Christ be in you. Because you're not Christ. Because him, Christ. He, not him. he yeah. is the way. So always Christ. So come here, Christ. He was always about the Father's business. Now we need to that before God can give us his inspector. When he brings the inspector, we need to allow the inspector to realize wherever we are loose, that we should fix and come out out from a my twaro asa loka next week i'm not going to the you know next week i'm not going to the service abe murutu unkhatile di khons mwana you know the the pastor really stepped on my toes jela mudimo alisa alisa o pepetela mutu now the word of god is not to um, baby somebody it's for the people that <laughs> <when it's preached, laughs> and it, it, you can feel that it's referring to you <laughs> then you repent <laughs> another thing that we see in the word of God <laughs> is that when the word of God is preached <laughs> uh, you are thinking to yourself I wish this one can hear it <laughs> but at that point in time <laughs> it's coming <laughs> for you because remember the word of God is not for a group <laughs> The word of God says, He who has an ah, ear, say, let him hear what the Spirit of God says to the church. So now, when the word of God is preached, you need to pray that God, here I am, please speak with me. And when I leave from this church, let me leave change. Having heard that God is using his servant, so now Paul is letting us know that if we can be completely changed, 
we qualify to be called sons and daughters of God. And our lives would then change. And then we we'll live like Christians. Remember the very first disciples of Jesus Christ. They didn't go around advertising that they were Christians. They lived a life a Christian life until the city where they were living they pointed to them and said those are Christians uh, their works are like Christians that's because they had received the gift of the Holy Spirit and that was the same spirit that was guiding them throughout the entire life so children of God when the word of God is preached condition we need to come out of this condition uh, more at chapter 7 let's read more detail chapter 7 verse 51 verse 51 chapter yeah it's chapter 7 verse 51 verse 51 lena babela la etha emithata ba go se bolle dipelo ditse Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so ye so do ye. When you see God not filling us with the Holy Ghost, it says we are all stiff-necked. Stiff-necked. So now children of God, we need to come out of this condition and be children of God who indeed believe that wherever God takes us, we will go. Because I me, I will follow. Because we should not that should not just be a song where we say, will follow. In the end, the word of God needs to become a life. So for God to be able to fill us with the Holy Ghost, chapter seven. We need to come from this uh, from every chapter 7 verse 51 and uh, circumcise our ears that let them be ears to hear the word of God at all times and the same God that speaks to us his word is not to baby us it says here it is to preach us because God is a God of the heart and when we have accepted God and taken him at his word and um, God will see it fit that he should come and live in his own temple because God himself he is a God of the heart so if God has come and he is living in your heart when the servant of God answers this question or he is trusting you and, Christ will and where does Christ live? In your heart. And if God is in your heart, on the outside, on the, outside uh, the fruits are that is, seen. That's why Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus Christ are said, by their fruits you shall see. When a person is a Christ, being guided by the Lord at all times, they leave the things of the world and then and they follow God. And when you follow God. God. Remember, God has now filled you with His Spirit. So then, what is the Holy Ghost? So now, one of the other questions that are asks, what is the Holy Ghost? Um, the servant of God says, "Ki." Okay, it's a seal. So and it's this, and, 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 so this thing shows that the work is complete. So for God to be able to see you with the Holy Ghost, check your life day by day through the word of God. Because children of God, the matter of God, uh, there's no need for me to ask my brother. Uh, so now the brother what uh, do you think I have the Holy Ghost? No, it's my matter of I personally know that I don't so have the Holy Ghost. So if I need the Holy Ghost, I need to be on my knees and pray because the Holy Ghost of God, He is everything. 
Jesus Christ. Eh, Jesus Christ. It's all. Kidilo kamoka. Eh, o ni tlhoka ka moka tsere na le tsona. So all the needs that we have, re tlhoka re fela re be le re kokobetse le be le re moyo mokhe. We just need to be humble and to have the Holy Spirit. Are you on the moyo mokhe? Because when you have the Holy Spirit, eh o lwala, when you are sick, Jesus Christ give you for this. Jesus Christ is a healer. And then eh o lwana And when you are child of God, o tlhela o tlhela mo tsona. There are things that you are letting. Jesus Christ give you for this. Jesus Christ is the provider. So tlhoka re tlhoka ka moka tsere So in all these things a, a child of God you know, through all the needs that we have what we need the most is and through the Holy Ghost all things are possible that, that is why you know That's why the word of God says, to God to those who believe all things are possible. So we need to believe that God is, and when we believe that he is, we know that those who approach him by faith the Bible says he rewards them. Now we need to have done the right kind of work to believe and when we believe that we want to follow Jesus then we need to separate from everything that we do now do you see this man who we call our father he uh, separated from his own family from uh, his people and went to meet with strange people most strange land and God he spoke to him and says he will be a father of the so now many times children of God when you see God failing to feed us we are refusing to separate the first separation is to separate from the from me and separate and as long as you separate from me as long as you refuse from separating from me friends it it will be hard for you to separate even from your so when a person is filled with the holy ghost so you become different to everyone and even with the people you associate with it means now they must be people who are filled with the holy ghost the seven of God William Branham likes to say this, uh, proverb that his mother used to say says best that have different feathers because some are more cannot go together because diet that on a child because their diet is so why not only would make so if you are a believer in Christ a uh, being a christian but on a little but having a friend you also make that doesn't believe the pillar beyond then how do you live Eh uh, when you get the what is the diet because your diet should not be the same as that as a child of God you need to be a Christian who when people meet but all always say you know you know that Jesus Christ they will say that one whenever you speak with them they are talking about Jesus Christ when they tell me look at the tapes of the prophet those of you who often listen to the tapes of the prophet we hear that there were sisters who worshiped in the time of the prophet they were not lazy to read the bible even though the bible refused for them to preach they would read it and after reading it, because the bible is the holy ghost he would give them the power to overcome i like the, the, the story where there was a certain sister and there were people that would like to visit him And those who agreed with what she was doing <laughs> they would uh, fellowship with her sister because when they got to the sister she would play the, the prophet stage those who did not agree with her they knew that if you go ever go to visit the sister you will find her listening to the tape of the prophet now that helped the sister because the world they were not agreeing with her The Christian people they could agree <laughs> with the sister Mola knowing that if we get to the sister we're going to have a nice fellowship and they were even going to listen to the so what about the prophet so children of god the spoken words the spoken word the bible and the bible and the bible 
Oh, the spoken word is the Bible, and, and the Bible, and the Bible, the Bible, the Bible Jo is to a child of God. See the inner man. Now, when you live in the word of God, because the word of God uh, is also the spirit of God, only promise. Who is the promise? Eventually, I am a and I know what is still fair. It is not just a seal. It becomes power to overcome. Because who are you? Because there are things you need to overcome in the world. But you cannot do that by yourself. You need God to overcome. That's why the Jalamu Dim. That's why the word of God. Even once I have to arrange channel out some my recently really go pilar lo. Now Lona the Jalamu Dim. Let's change the word go pilar. We should not put the ourselves ahead and the word of God behind us, but the word of God is leading us. We need to be the ones following the word of God. And then my fellow Lord Lona let a little fear it. And eventually it will overcome on our behalf. Kelly, one of the little people I'm brought. There's a scripture that explains this. We're going to read in Acts chapter one, verse eight. Verse eight. Or re re completely renewed. Or re 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 piafa chwe moka. We need to have the Holy Ghost. Or 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 we need to have the Holy Ghost. Lena renga moka ya Juda na ya Samaria ufitha maumung alifas. Now do you see children of God? The Bible says this power uh, are there until the end of the world. So, so if you have the Holy Spirit and you are renewed and that is now God in you you are given the power and this is overcoming power. and then even when and you become a witness in the area where you are living and even in the whole world. So now this, uh, this power God, will overcome when you your daily and life. life. And the things that the, the, this power will overcome for you. Let's read in 1 John chapter 2. Isn't it we believe the Bible? I was uh, asked by Pastor to just come and read the Bible. I was asked to just come and read the Bible. So read the scriptures and go this side and that and side. Then knowing that eventually, in the end, we will know that God has spoken to us. Uh, First John chapter two. I said, First John chapter two. Arvaleng mola ut ituma. Yeah, I arrive alone. Mola ituma mola verse fifteen. Now let's read from verse fifteen. Amen. Let's see. Get la data le fasi, le data le fasi. Mata moyo mu kete mana mudim. Now the Holy Spirit shall not. Mata is power. Ya uto kono fe. That you will overcome. Or the lota le fasi. That the things of the world. The lota moli fasi. And the. Nchali nchali moyo mu kete. Without the Holy Ghost, the world will mislead you. I was listening to the pastor recently when he preached. When he preached that I to the Christian. Remember, we need to know that we are not fighting. We are not fighting. We are fighting. We are fighting a spiritual battle. Now he spoke of the matter that spirits. Um, they they come together now if i give someone a position and i say they are the aunt to my children. Isn't it the children now have a child? But I need to be careful of the spirit that is in the aunt. Because if I just say she is the aunt of my children, she is the aunt. But she doesn't have the spirit she has. The spirit she has. As, long as, around here, as long as the children are living around here, it will affect them. As long as Barnabas, as long as my children are living around their uncle, 
But he doesn't have that spirit of the person who doesn't have the spirit of God will influence this one. And because you think you are a Christian, you are looking at things you can't see the spirit. Then goes into that factors into who you are. A fellowshipping with I give fella give with young brothers I often tell young brothers re ule a young brother to say re ule less one and sik unyan and you are not yet married mara wa associate le malum but you associate with your uncle o sa le anyala anyalul who married and this married because <laughs> 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 then you will affect you <laughs> even though he's your uncle <laughs> because you're living <laughs> with him <laughs> because that's something you won't see so so you should see that the uncle that you associate associated <laughs> with, uh, make sure that he has the holy spirit <laughs> when he has the holy spirit <laughs> when he affects you with the holy good spirit benefit for you then is a good influence <laughs> But if he's affecting you with that uh, that spirit of marrying and divorcing, and you are here thinking you are a Christian, that won't work. William Branham gives a perfect example. In the message, the Holy Ghost. Says, if you see a little child following around, following Granny around, it means there's something that Granny is. Giving giving to that little one and they say i i see i as abu abela ngwana or amusale ka so and the thing that the granny is giving to the little one ona le moya or ka skhodu bona ka mathwana there's a spirit that we cannot see a uh, naturally with our own eyes mara naturally ku bona but a uh, more natural u motho that that granny o ka ngwana ola ka maswitsi She is maybe using sweets to or anoint the spirit to say analyze so and eventually she'll anoint the so, child with the spirit so wana ba mudim so it's not god obo thoba re we wana o le wana mudim it's important that when you are a child of god you know how come o ka everything o ska thola o didirela mona me that you do you should not do it in the flesh o didire spiritual you should do them most of the time because they o didire o didire spiritual because if you do those things spiritually as i said when o didira ke mudim a tlang a o gai it's no longer you that does so, them but so, Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Bull basa le ngwala ngwala la la first John chapter 2. So we're still reading first John. Keep on sa reform matter au fenya le pass. I was showing that we are given power to overcome the world. Because the Bible here love not the world. Because the Bible says let's get a rather le pass. Let that the things that are in the world. Really you're telling them more le pass. Repila more le pass in Baba. We are living in the world children of God. Mara le pass le asila ha borina. But this world is not our home. That's why regards ba re rena ke rena bo mang. That's why if we can know who ya. Regards ba re as long as the repeater we are ambassadors of Christ we can know that as long as we are calling ourselves a There's nothing of this world that should affect us. When they are saying the economy is falling, uh, remember this is our, our economy. economy. Our main economy is. So the Bible says, don't love the world. 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 Ebutu ara ta le fase. Le ratu ola ta ka show ala ho ala mo re. O ka si bi double minded. You can't be double minded. Wa rata le fase ka mo le modimo. Loving God on the side and So for you to overcome this condition, amwela mo yo mo yo wo mo. Receive God's spirit. Let's continue. Owane tshohle tsa le fase. E le go Why bona influence ya moyo mukhet? Now you see the influence of the Holy Spirit. Bona e una ni influence ya moyo mukhet. When you have the influence of the Holy Spirit. Dilotse ka moka Bible di bula langbo. Everything that the Bible says. The last of the flesh. Eh khanyogo ya nama. The last of the eyes. Khanyogo ya maso. The pride. Le of life. We go mo. 
The Bible says these things do not come from God. So if you still have these things, then it means God has not yet filled you with the Holy Spirit. Because when God has filled you with the Holy Spirit, and you change, then you change and become you a new creature. To God. Eh, and I'm going yourself to God. And then God will be the one to so, so, so the Holy Ghost is not just speaking and saying, I have the Holy Ghost. Have the Holy Ghost. Ghost. If indeed you have it, you need to overcome these things. Because if you don't, and let's continue and read verse 17. Amen. The one who will uh, continue to abide is the one who does the will of God. So God loves us, children of God. He showed us his love by um, giving us his love. He showed us his love by giving us his love. Who was his only begotten so that all of us who believe eventually we should have because, really fast. because in, in terms of the world <coughs> and the things there these all will come to an end <coughs> but as for God <coughs> he is there eternal so, and so now God the Bible says God <coughs> is the spirit and all who worship him as worshiping me in spirit and <coughs> the word of God um, the spirit the servant of God continues to ask what is, the, what, what is the Holy Ghost? Now, it is Christ in you. So, so Christ has come in if Christ is coming because he lives, you are now to You live also. And because you are now in, uh, we are failing. And because he lives eternally, you are now to pill like our failing. You too will live. Because of the Bible with him Nama A. So remember, children of God, this flesh. This is the main reason why we are failing to see the word of God. So we need to drink or to die. And then ritual spiritually, and uh, so that we can resurrect spiritually in Jesus Christ. Uh, in through Jesus Christ, and then so that God can fill us. And with and the God. God. And the Holy Ghost. And the Son of God says, "When I speak of the Holy Ghost, it is Christ in you." So, Christ so when Christ is in you, if He says these words, the works that I do, shall you do also. Even greater works than that the Lord Lord. Lord. Then there will be God working. And, you. and if God says to you uh, that your ears are to hear God, then you will hear that God is speaking to you. So this is so that is why the word of God comes to us today. That it may change us uh, from the things that we are hanging on to things of the world. That we may leave the and just focus on the But this message is not completely renewed. Arbaling Romans chapter 6. Let's read in the book of Romans chapter 6. From verse 1. From verse 1. Okay. Okay. Do you see, child of God, when you are born again, you are brought into a newness of life. 
the Qatar has said, "No, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to." That's right. I think that's where music will have an influence. You know that music also has an influence, right? And let's be honest, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to. That's right. I think that's where music will have an influence, right? And let's be honest, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to. That's right. I think that's where music also has an influence, right? And let's be honest, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to. That's right. I think that's where music also has an influence, right? And let's be honest, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to. That's right. I think that's where music also has an influence, right? And let's be honest, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to. That's right. I think that's where music also has an influence, right? And let's be honest, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to. That's right. I think that's where music also has an influence, right? And let's be honest, we don't want to go to those dance parties we used to go to. That's right. I think that's where music also has an influence, right? So that's why you should not just be impressed to say no I'm listening to gospel music. Jibe la mutawo pela muru wa Africa spirit is here. Look at the person who is um, singing uh, how are they addressed? I can't le fasile le khono bula la le remote is a queen of gospel. And check um their spirit because the world can say this person is the queen of gospel. Kadi plasma hallelujah. Uh, with a plasma and say hallelujah. So spirit is the one who did. So that spirit should. What that was trouble man. You need to be aware of it. All right. When I listen to gospel music, there are other types of gospel music. Why you play like that that's disco. That is sang in a disco. And when now I do lela war game music music or gospel. And you are listening to it and saying you know this is gospel music. Or or toba affected. You will be affected. So more ba lang ona. So where we are reading. Bible le re re tshwatse ba ba modimo re na ba re re khileng le Christ. The Bible says we those who are dead in Christ and then ba ba tswa le yena. And we uh, resurrected. Re re phile bo phile bo bo mtsha. We should live in Galatians chapter 4 bro. Amen. Verse 4. Go bane mfisilwe le yena le ditleng. Ka go kolobetswa le rum la ga. Gore bo ka Christe re a tshitswe ba rum. Ka le tsa hola tsa. Le rena a re phile bo philo. E le go tshwa. Mo Christ, a Christian, completely renewed. Uh, I, I, I'm you live in newness of life how are you renewed by receiving the holy spirit let's continue ทุกคนเนี่ยครับโอ้วันนี้เรื่องของมาการไหนเราสอนนายหรือคุณนะครับวันนั้นเราสอนมาการไหนเราสอนนายในทุกคนนะครับเจ้าลองพิมพ์การ
Children of God, we need to die in Christ. And then because he has raised from the dead, we should also rise with him. And when we live, we live with him. Because Paul also says, when we live, it's Christ. And if we die, it's Christ. So, child of God, it must be that your daily walk or daily life should be controlled by the Spirit of God. And you must know that the Spirit of God is the Spirit of God. So that's why we should know that uh, uh, at all times, whatever is Let's do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because if you do it in the name of Jesus Christ, I can't gossip about my brother. Because Jesus Christ is not. So, children of God, we need to uh, that God should help us. Or completely renewal. And every completely renewal. And when we are completely renewed, we become a new creature that pleases God. So Paul continues to um, tell us about the seal. The seal of the Holy Spirit. Let's read in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4. We believe the Bible, don't we? Arvalen from the state. Ephesians chapter 4 from the state. Eight. Eight. Yeah, from, from the state. 3 0. Eight. Oh, three zero. Mm. Listen, Kerala Yamisha, Moya Oak at home, D. Woe this for you, Woga, Naswa, and Rata, Gina Topol. I agree, but Bob Dimu Muchanga Mudim are still is a finished work. Isn't it children of God that the seven of God says, eh, says, 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 so only a complete renewal when. So when you are completely renewed, uh, God has been filled you with the Spirit. He has sealed you until the day of your redemption. So the Bible says you should not uh, grieve the Holy Spirit. You see, uh, the Holy Spirit that causes us not to receive the Holy Ghost. Verse 31. Verse 31. The tongue of a Christian should be uh, controlled by the Holy Spirit. Because the Bible says not even um, evil speaking. So there are certain words that a Christian should not say. But as long as you are not controlled by the Holy Spirit, and you are just saying that, that you are a Christian, then it is possible for you to say But a Christian filled with the Holy Spirit, the things you are reading of in verse 31, they go, they are filled you see, children of God, there's nothing good that we've ever done and done it for God. It's just His grace. So the Bible says, let us also be merciful to one another. And let us also be merciful to one another. And if we don't align our aim with the Holy Spirit, then we are not going to be able to do it. And if we don't align our everyday life with the Word of God, then we are not going to be able to do it. And if we don't align our everyday life with the Word of God, then we are not going to be able to do it. And if we don't align our everyday life with the Word of God, then we are not going to be able to do it. Because our um, tongues will be saying things that were, that are out of line. For others, their tongues will be used to curse other people. Isn't it other times? God bless you. Uh, when we are greeting each other, we greet each other. Say, deep down from your heart. Let it be that you mean that from deep because down your heart. Because the tongue is powerful. 
Obana okase expectore mutu kabushu abe abe blessed mola mara umukesi tepi. See you can't expect for someone to be blessed uh, tomorrow if you've cast them first today. O fanse u level le rose wana o sibulela nka le mila hao. You need to see that what it is that you're saying because it's a pila. God is a is a lie. If it is blessing I be a blessing. The, if it's a, a blessing let it be a blessing. If it curse I be a curse. Ele tora ko I be tora. Para kidu mara mwana mudimu o alinge mu Christ. But I believe that a child of God all over say at the moment of my high come is that when they open their mouth with our at least a blessing they'll be bringing forth a blessing so no bona but ba bolela ba ke ba crest have you ever seen people speaking that they are christians mara o mo appoint o mo aro aro o mo ke devil but one of them is pointing to another one and mara ka bo show ona mara ba accept ba accept a blessing and afterwards all of them want to accept the blessing because corona hal then it won't work so that's why mara mo you must come to a point where you are completely renewal That's why children of God are children of the Holy Spirit. Let them worry. O mo lo mo ngwarna o o mphapatswa ka mmo. E o bolela o bolela se ka moyo mukhetho. That when you speak you are speaking because the Holy Spirit. E o dira ka diatla o dire ka moyo mukhetho. When you work with your hands you work as the Holy Spirit is. E o tla servicing o skatla ka ba ritla servicing. You come to the service don't just do it for the same of God. O tlise ka moyo mukhetho. Be led of the Holy Spirit. E o rapela o rapela se ka moyo mukhetho. When you pray be led E o bala bibel o ipa dise ka moyo mukhetho. When you read your Bible be led by the Holy Spirit. Kise bibel isulela ngiro whatever you do. That is what the Bible Means when it says, "Don't eat in the name of Jesus Christ." Diranka ni na lamara na Jesus. And Jesus Christ, the key, na moyo muke. Jesus Christ, He is the Holy Spirit. When you come to render an item, make a move. Now, when you are coming here to render an item, is kama tabaya show off. Let it not be a matter of show off. Iraka moyo muke. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Ebari ita uto 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 preacheta. When it is said, "Come and preach for us," is kama tabaya a show off. Let it not be a matter of. I know what moyo muke. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Iraka moyo muke. So everything that we do shall be if we indeed believe that we are new creatures we must be uh, controlled by the spirit of god because the spirit of god is the one that will lead us so so the holy spirit of god is important for us to have it because on tell one because without it you can no change you can just say i've changed mara nature yaka isale hona go lefase fela tla go yela is still uh, in, in the world so mutlanga mudimo wa bolela are when you are completely changed the son of god says uh, re re o fetugile you receive the holy the holy spirit re o fetugile mo ka o amogela moyo moghe and this holy spirit is an assurance bele moyo moghe tsho o ke tishetso and it's not assurance only as assurance only eh ga se tishetso fela is a protection e ba le tshireletso and it's not a protection only ai bi fela tshireletso it is your witness e ba tlhatsi ya ga and it is not your witness only ga se fela tlhatsi ya ga it is your 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 seal ke le swao la ga and it is not your seal only a se fela e se khurumelo sa ga it is your sign ke se ka sa ga that you are heaven bound o re o le bane ke le go di you don't care what the devil say eh a gona tawore satanore you are heavenly bound wena o le bane ke le go you don't care what the world say a o khatalo le fasile re you are heavenly bound o o le bane le go di god has done sin for you and until the day of your of your redemption modimo o feditse o soile o fitla le tshila ola tokol that is the holy ghost bele ke se mo yo mo khetswa ile and he o tsiba rona le mo yo modimo and if you know that you have the spirit of god what tsiba you could not do anything without and then you also know that o ga se ke wa khono dira se sengwe ntle le mo yo mo khetswa mo yo mo khetswa so The spirit of God ele moya o modimo is the holy ghost ke moya mo khet the spirit of Christ in you moya wa Christ mo we we must continue to do the work of God re tshwanetse re tsole pele go dira moshomo wa modimo but this things can only happen if we are under the influence of the holy ghost fela se se tlo khonega fela re re le ka fase ga khuetjo ya moya mo khet that is why jesus christ says this that's why jesus christ ta bolela i always do that that which is pleasing to my father ka me tla ke dira se se khatlisha go tate so mantsi a mafelong a tshwantse a be monna le wena le wena so these words eventually need to be in me and in you gore batho ba tsebe gore ka nne di modimo teni wa phiri so people to know that indeed god is alive and he una le moya mo modimo ngwana modimo and if you have the spirit of god child of god and then o tsamaisa ka wona and it's leading you 
you are not working in darkness. Rao sebile mo di susi o tsa mo moliseli. Or you are working in the light. So mutanga mo di mo are. So the servant of God says, moyo mo moyo mo keb. The Holy Ghost. Kick a token. A kiss kiss seka. E e ko ko na mo re o tsa o tsa mo ka tlatlo. That Uh, will allow you to go into the right place. Is it where we that we are waiting for the right So we are waiting for the right children of God. Yo bona re tla mo servicing day in day out. When you see us coming to the service re tla o fa tla fatsi wa ka le ntshola modimo. We come to be strengthened by the word of God. Ore ba fela long anke thogene e di grace. So that eventually you are because you really a thogene because without a token i can't make it so the son of god continues to say that who she is and the bride and if we can come to the point where the bride knows who she is rapture will take place But it's important that as children of God, we all individually need to be the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not just for us, not just for the church board, not just for the church board. It's for the whole church. So that if the whole church is filled with the Holy Ghost, and then the rapture. It will take place. So we need to know that children of God, what God is, the power that God has, he brought it out of Jesus Christ. The Jesus Christ could do all things that God and Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ he took himself all of himself and the church. And the gerege eh in this church the bride of Jesus Christ. Ke munyalo wa Jesu Christ. Jesu Christ. So now Jesus Christ azang afihlela munyalo wa ha isilo. Never hid anything from umufile dido ka moka. Bride. So here we remember all things. So here we remember na le moyo mukhetho. So when we believe that we are resta be ranyamisa moyo mukhetho. God says we should not grieve the Holy Spirit. Ori shwa ile ka ona ra shwa ile official tsa tsa. Who we are sealed until the day of our So we talk about one mudim. So it's important that we should go every day that God come to come mapilo a rena a tsatsi le tsatsi o ya ka le jela mudim. We need to inspect and check our lives मोहोलिंगा Uh, that word eba wa go wa go inspect and the he inspect up wena and he inspect le na le le wena le wena and me and you we na re look at tsuru modimo ka kgolo re tlatsa ka moyo mukhetwa so now i will have have we believe that god can fill us with our so bona modimo a sa re tlatsa ka moyo mukhetwa so when you see god not filling us with the holy spirit we are too loose eh re le se re di tshe kudu re bolela marua we are speaking vulgar evil things dilo tse dimpe ke tsona tse di re khatlhang these are things that uh, entertain us re sa le mo le fasting too much we are still too much in so the world so when the word of god comes so when the word of god comes child of god message wa na go ya rena o tlileng the message of our time that has come out e o mo laetsa o wa na go ya rena e re le mo go yona ke gore etswa and then o tswa mo hara bona and you are coming out from a man gore ma fela no wena o khona ba se bi ana se modimo se ka a ka khona mo se shumi so that eventually you can be the vessel that god can use so i get re bolela ka moyo mukhetho now remember we're talking about the holy moyo mukhetho wa na modimo ka ya setse ne re boletse re re ke 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 promise as we've already said that the holy ghost is a promise ke seal ke e le tswao ke sign ke se ka and then ke matla and it's also power ma fela no mutshantse o tsebe re i know i know ba di lotse o fela me eventually you need to know that it's not it's just a teacher mo e mogetswa ke 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 murut yo a ka o teacher mo from inside e ke ke wa ka o rutang go tswa ka mara and wa kura o receive ana se modimo a ka se shumisa ntse le se se botse from inside until outside and you find that you can be a vessel so pure and clean that god can use 
go to aka ga re go ya ka ntle so re modimo a khona u fekisa so for god to be able to uh, cleanse so tsa wena u dumele le zwina ha you need to believe his word and then only see and take it at ka tumelo by faith because bible le re o khatha modimo a khone ntle le tumelo because the bible says without faith it is impossible and that tumelo le only ghost ba ba modimo ya nyalela and faith and the holy ghost they go together so mara re request ka moga tse re na le tsona Now amongst all the requests that we have <laughs> the Holy Ghost should be the most important <laughs> the Holy Ghost is the one that will guide you to say that when a Christian <laughs> thinks, <laughs> when a Christian thinks this is how they think <laughs> when a Christian walks this is how they so walk so once you are filled with the Holy Ghost so all these things the servant of God makes us to see that you don't Talk like like they weren't. You don't dress like they weren't. You don't think like they weren't. You just think as Christ thinks. So whatever you do, you do it in the name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, God, wait, I want thing. Amen. And that is the Holy Ghost. I am listening to what the pastor has been saying. Yeah, he's chief. 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 Everything will work out well. So we should see that we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because we have such a pastor to change us. Because Everything will go according and to God. And then eventually God will come down. Uh, to this place. The people who come in here sick. They will be healed when they come through that door. So what is needed to know God? Is it we've come to the service? After the service, don't close your Bible. The Bible is not Bible for The Bible is to be read by everyone. Whether you're a pastor, whether you're not a preacher, whether you're a preacher, not. As long as you are not the member of the body of Christ. As long as you believe or you are not a member of Jesus Christ. Bible e kya hao This Bible is for you Refela ru tla batho ba re na go mo bala di book a tse dingwe di tlo ruta se le se le se Is it we often hear people saying when you read these type of books they'll teach you Yeah mo go se mantse a Paul Let me tell you Paul's words You're deceiving yourself E why poor a wena Truth ya maliba The right kind of education is the word of God because of Bible e ri because the Bible says Batho ka moka everyone I be ba ruta ka mo yo mukhe should be taught of those of the Bible of God ke le zwi la mudi And the Holy Spirit So, so man, the the word of God. So, child of God, don't deceive yourself. When you know that you don't have the Holy Ghost, then go seek for it. And what to And you know how we seek for the things of God? People usually fill the streets out here. claiming that they want service delivery so here na service delivery re nya ka mutswa modimo so the service delivery we want from god ma we is our need so na le jacob and be like jacob 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 o re le a mutswe said i will not leave you until you bless me when you know that you need the go and fight go and fight Until God fills you with the Holy Ghost. God is looking at your attitude. In his way. If you take and God in his way. Remember, he said, "Ask for whatever you desire." I will give it to you. So, the the greatest need is the Holy Ghost. And if you can have the Holy Ghost, that's where we will receive a complete renewal. Then you become a new creature that lives to please God. Problem here, now bad. Now, but that is not even Christ. They are still Christians. That want to please other people. Child of God. Live to please God. Abraham, 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 Abraham
when uh, the word of god told abraham to separate he separated when from his kindred the bible also says if anyone loves their mother or father more than they love god they cannot please god so i'm not saying when we come out of here we should hate our parents but so long as their behavior is contradicting the word of god separate from uh, from the so, west so god said so he is willing to fill us so we are not the inspector so let us allow the inspector who is the word, the word of god inspect to inspect us because having come here after i have preached the word of god if he has preached my word then it means i must be called in the name of christ christ and after being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I change and become a new creature. And then I, I'm not just saying that I'm a Christian. It will be Christ living in Christ me. And when Christ is living in me, people will indeed see that God is God. So it's important children of God that we go and check our lives according to the word of God. So the word of God instructs us that ke Paul mo ba Roma chapter 12 is Paul in the book of Romans chapter 12 that we should take our bodies and and sacrifice them to God, God, that it may be a, a holy sacrifice that can please God. and and it's for him mudim a ofile mo ya wa hai and realize if God has given you his spirit and he is the one living in you he takes your whole day the time is no longer your time it's God's time it belongs to God so when you are living with God so now it's important child of God wherever you are that more 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 one meditate with the word of God fellowship when we talk about fellowship asita ba ya iri kopa ni rena more ri fellowship not the matter when we are you and have an individual fellowship with you and God because a Christian must read the word and then arapele and pray continue so continue us life but these things are only possible if you are filled with the holy ghost and if you are God gives us a promise and whatever you ask in my name and says that will I do that the father may be glorified in, in, in the son if you, if you shall ask anything in my name I will do it. But let's hear what God says. If you love me keep my commandment. So let's not just speak with our mouth and say we love God. If indeed we do love God keep my commandment. And then it will be that whenever we ask whatever it may be that we do that are for so God will give to us. Mudimu ulukile ba ba mudimu. So God is good to us. Say asinya ka ngorin. That which he needs from us completely renewed. Ke o o o o e go mshafatswa mo. And then u be le total separation. Le go khaogan tswa mo ka. Bible ya re le buisa ba ba mudimu. The Bible makes us a way to go when only we crest that you as a christian o ka khona wa belana biang le ba o se dumeng when only we debate eh how can you go together with those who do not believe if you are a believer how can i hal that's not possible so rena tsa tsiri tsiri ma filo a rena so we need to take our position we are calling jila mudi according to the word of god and then yena mudi and god ke yena a re file promise is the one who gave us a promise ya nne ya moyo mukheto of the gift of the and we should mudi and we should know that god he always fulfills his he always fulfills his promise yena na go mo re sa mudi mo a sa rata tsaka moyo mukheto when you see sometimes god not filling us with the holy spirit is because ke ka ba ka la hore a re tsa mao ya ka le jila we don't go so are we going to go to the so let's take or re na that we re temple ya mudimu ah god temple and the temple ya mudimu and god temple in bomo ya mudimu udulang ho is where the spirit of god dwells ka ka u tswalela so in close the bible scripture say i'm going to read the scripture first second corinthians first corinthians chapter 3 of a uh, first corinthians chapter 3 are valing from verse uh, from verse 16 ka bala go tsoga ka verse 16 
Yeah, from verse 16. First Corinthians chapter 3 from verse 16. I get a question here. Doesn't the question or, 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 or the saying is if the bride can know who she is, the rapture will take place. So question is asking, know you not that you are the temple of God? Tell them, Phil, bro. Ah, let's say we have a little bit of a triumph. Now the temple of God should not be building It's not this building that we're gathered together. Or those other ones where others will tell you uh, this way I go to church. Usually when I testify to people. And when they ask me, where do you worship? I say, we worship there at uh, the Kretsch next to the mission. Now those who know that I come from faith mission, they say, but you left a beautiful church and there. There. And indeed we did. Yeah. And we built it with our own money. But there is something greater than I'm seeing, greater than that church. The building is not the church, the church of God is my body. So I should always um, re, um, make sure that the, the temple of God is fed by the spiritual food. Because Paul says we should understand and that we are the, and temple, the temple of God. is holy. That is why Paul are be holy for I'm holy. That's why Paul says, So, the social of God. Let's go and pray that God help us because to give a temple. Because we are the temple of God. Let's continue to verse 18. Bro. Let's continue to verse 18. So, child of God, when you change and become a new creature, and you receive Jesus Christ with your whole heart, this whole world will indeed say that you are a fool. But be happy to be a fool for Jesus Christ. I remember Pastor Malika dramatized this. Why, why, why will the Lord give message to Old Paul? Uh, the servant of God says it in the message oddball. Says there was a certain man who was walking you around you I'm a fool of Christ. A written here, I am a fool for Christ. But on the back side, he's asking a question. A fool of Christ. Me being a fool of Christ. Who, who, who's fool are you? Well, now, uh, who's fool are you? God and Satan. If, if I'm a fool of God, who's fool are you? Uh, you see, right there, we let, let no man deceive himself. If any man amongst you seems to be wise in this world. Uh, the wisdom of the world this, uh, it leads to nowhere. The Bible says the beginning of the so, scripture let him become a fool. So when the scripture continues it says uh, 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 become a fool. When you repent child of God that he may be wise. For it obe wabashan. Telang pilir balele bro. Best ni latela. O se ke wabalo e pora ho. Ke mo bole na o na le wa itsema ari yo bosale. E tama baka an. Abe le shilo atsego wa yo bosale. Ke ene bosale ba le fase nelo. Mo dimo o bo bona ke le shilo. 
Kwaane yego mwadi do hatu. Ba masale yego watanya kabo na ma. Kwa ubusho hatu. Mwana na otseba kubolo jab basale ilicha nifela. Iho na abo sebe loa wichancha kabo hatu. Now this method, children of God, can only be possible if you have the spirit of God. Born again and you are saved, you are by the way. We are progressing in life. Be happy over the Shilo Lamore. And then and God will be the one to change you or in his world so let's uh, turn of God let's allow uh, that the Holy Spirit should be the one that guides us all the time could be in our families could be as we are working on our way, it could be a school, it could be at your workplace, be guided by the Holy Spirit. You, you must know that I, there are certain things that maybe I could do, hiding and thinking I'm not being seen, but uh, God is always watching and, it will and He will reveal these things. So, so it's better that when you are living, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Amen. And if you are led by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, it becomes easier for you to separate from the people. And even if people can um, make jokes at you or mock you because of the Holy rejoice because of that. Because Life is this is where life is. So in the Bible, we So I was just saying, children of God. Share a Hanyanika a completely renewal. We should share on this matter of a complete renewal. And the only Holy Ghost. And the fact that it's only possible when you have the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost, ita he will be busy with all the things. And the Holy Ghost only comes when you've uh, been born again. And then we walk where the people go. Now we will lose, lose, lose. And you let go of a uh, loose life. Because what about another message? Because others write in the message. Will be stuck at the point of saying, I've heard the message. I repented, I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Sunday. And I attend the service every Sunday. Child of God, in actual fact, you should attend service every Sunday. Even though we don't come to the service, I have your own service with God. If we actually look well at this um, word to serve, to go to service, it doesn't mean coming here. And you are preached to, and then they close the service, and then they go, and your Bible will remain closed, your spoken word, you're just waiting that for is Sunday. Not to serve God. To serve God, to serve God, to serve God as a child of God, day by day, minute by minute, meditate a little bit. That's where God will see that you are His servant. And when God approves that indeed you are His servant, He will come and dwell in you. Because you are the temple of God. And the Bible says our God is not a God of confusion. So He doesn't want confusion. When you see God failing to seal us with the Holy Ghost, we are still confused. We need to regulate control our tongues, control our thoughts, control our thoughts, or the whole things. So, the local thoughts are controlled. They should be controlled by God. God is good, children of God. What is needed, let us be in the world and take him at the world. And the gift that God has given us here. Where it seems like we are um, struggling. We don't have a special place to worship him. If we look uh, by just uh, but looking at the But God is actually doing great things. If we can pray. 
rapture when it comes and we have lived our lives the right way according to the sermons that have been here in the church of Brazil we can all be raptured if only we are not just people who live we are people who live because even William Brennan says don't preach to me many sermons just live the sermon just live the sermon so children of God when the word of God rebukes us let's uh, allow the word of God and, to and, and, us. And, 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 and then from there we 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 let a point come where you, you are, are, would look at the scriptures let's say uh, search you, yourselves and see if you are in the faith Jesus Christ, oh, no, 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 no. whether Jesus Christ or is in you so look at the scripture but not just this scripture but all scriptures and check them because you are this service service to serve God is not when we are here let's serve God in all the places where we are serve God in your kitchen brothers you should serve God or whatever job you are doing whatever job we do because all of us here more the body of Christ. We are important. But people, uh, as people many times we undermine ourselves. The Holy Spirit is uh, just for preachers. It's just for ministers, for pastors. No. Uh, the Holy Spirit was given to the whole church. And eventually it, uh, it brings us to a complete and then, and when you are renewed you become a new creature and then scripture is le skatlo nya misa moyo mo khetlo le swaile ka ona fitlelo le tsatse la tukullo and the bible says uh, do not grieve the holy spirit of god by whom you are sealed and to the word and you know how to speak how to act and then you just act like as christ me wa 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 pina o sona le christ and then wa bulela e ka mpho christ a bulela ka tene and you speak the way christ speaks and then wa ira di loka mpho mo di manya ka ngore di dire ka tene and do things the way so girata o le kwa so I'd like to thank the children of God this this year, I was just here to share the thought of a complete renewal I was just here to share the thought of a complete renewal and then with you. Kamu tasa, uh, Holy Ghost. but to uh, align it with the matter of the Holy Ghost because we know that the Holy Ghost ki, 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 ki promise uh, is a promise and then ki, ki, ki stralelo, is a seal and then ki mat and its power and mata o khono fenya le naba ka ona and with that power you can defeat and mara le naba le lehulu le o tshantse o le fe but the greatest enemy that you need to overcome is you yourself when you see yourself sometimes failing to read the Bible, it's you. There are still certain things that that are causing you to fail. Me, me. If you can come out from the condition of saying nothing and you allow God, uh, then everything will be possible with God. Do you know children of God? Uh, William Brennan Meharrer. That when William Brennan was preaching, oh, like a TV is a case. Oh, oh, like your television, like a kitwa. You are getting spirits from that. So, so I'm just saying, children of God, I pray that, God will help us that we remain in the word of God at all times. And things are possible. I'd like to be thankful for this opportunity. As the church of God, we can stand to us. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender all.